Welly was founded in 1991, so 30 years ago. Um, we've been celebrating this on the Welly website and our newsletter, but we're looking for something more. So we asked around some Welly members for their thoughts and their ideas on this. Uh, Heli Sorkuka from Finland put us in touch with someone who we had not met, but whose work we immediately recognized. It was the environmental artist Seppo. If he could make a special illustration, we could send it to all of you and members, centers, uh, Welly members could use it as you wished. And we wanted something that could make visitors smile and inform them too. And, and uh, when we met, yeah, we knew it would be great. Um, I'd like to introduce Seppo. So Seppo, if you can turn on your camera and your microphone. Here we have Seppo and Auli. Um, thank Hello. you very much Hello. for joining us. Hello. Could you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Uh, I'm Seppo Leinonen from Finland and I have been doing illustrations about all my life since I was a kid. Uh, and uh, I'm a great fan of wetlands, especially, and birds and fishing. So this wetland thing is very, very, very close to me. I like it very much. And also these wetland centers, they are, I have visited few of them only, but they are very, very kind of great places to learn and, and see all these wonderful animals and plants and also get information. So they are great. And my name is Auli. I'm uh, an environmental journalist and I'm helping Seppo with this job and many, many others. Nice to meet you. It's great to have you both. Um... And we have a couple of slides showing examples of your previous work. Here we have um, the Natura 2000 IBAs. Um, Chris, will you click through for the next one? This, uh, this was for Ramsar, is that right, Seppo? Yeah, it was actually for Liminga, Liminganlahti in Finland. They have a kind of posters there, and this is for, for them, but also about Ramsar because they are part of this network so it's kind of northern wetland and and that's a really interesting point about that when we were divide when we were working together to create the, our artwork we knew we'd need something that would work for the whole world um and so we actually ended up coming with three habitats on a on a, this lovely sort of background scene with that that same vibrancy and, and joy that we see in your other work but then making variations for the um for different habitats that is affects welly members. So, um, Seppo, are you ready for us to do the big unveil? Um, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, if we click through to the very first one, the first of the welly celebration art. Oh, no, hang on. We should show you these first. This is a great, this is a little bonus that Seppo has made. This is something that any welly member can print out and make these beautiful little flying birds um beautiful drawings printed yes. out folded and, and yep. they are they come like this you can print them on the paper then you can can fold it like this cut it out the bird out then you bend bend these wings up and down so a bird can fly so kids can kind of learn how to uh, how birds fly and for example you can put some on the floor fish or or some um, muscle or or some bird food what what do, what do they eat and bird, birds have to find their own food or you can use them anything you like like but they are quite funny so the species this is got with but and the others then there's an um, osprey uh, and uh, then a pelican. <laughs> Fantastic. And then also, no, this, yes, it's pelican. And then I also have, yes, a night, night heron, which is quite uh spread all over the world so it's it's a tiny bird but it's quite handy 
And actually, I invented this when I was a kid. Really? And because I didn't have much toys and <laughs> and I was very interested in birds. So I, I played with this as a kid. They nested in my mother's uh, flower pots and other places and uh, <laughs> you know bookshelves were kind of rock mountains and there was eagles and all the birds were of course birds of prey eagles and hawks and not any anything like codwits <laughs> sure. they are not they were not cool when you are a kid but now they are cool <laughs> okay absolutely I, I love the idea that something you created as a child will actually spread to many, many children through through the Welly members, right? Wetland centers around the world can use yes, it. And... I think yeah. they are, these are nice for kids because you can also make your own. You can draw your own, own bird and it's very easy. You can do them anywhere you like. And so the kids can make their own birds too. And color them too. Yes, yes. They can be also colored. Brilliant. Thank you. It's a, it's a lovely treat that will work in so many Welly centres. It's brilliant. Uh, now, I think we move on to the grand launch, the grand reveal. So, Chris, if you click through to our next. Ta-da! So, Seppo, talk, please talk us through this uh, temperate scene. Mm, yes, this is the kind of... Uh, it was quite tricky to make... Uh, a wetland that works all over the world because they are so different types of wetlands in the world and uh, different kind of animals and uh, plants. But uh, this is quite kind of uh, a river that spreads in the wetland and is connected with the wet wetland and it can kind of go on as a river or it can come to the sea like some other versions. Uh, problem was the species because the species are different in different parts of the world. There are some some species that are very widely spread, but not all. So I made uh, all these animals are in their own layers. So if it's if it's needed, they can be changed in in these different, uh, for example, tropic. There are so many great species but they, they also are different in different parts of the world. So it's impossible to make one size for which fits all <laughs> poster for. And I think it's uh, also kind of, kind of uh, tells you that the wetlands are, are great and uh, bio biodiversity is, is ex excellent because it's impossible to make one poster. It was very dull. It's very dull if you could make one poster and fit it all. But that's why there's also a possibility to change these pieces if needed. And I think we get an idea of that, Chris. If you click through to the next one, we'll see how the idea that there's layers here, that there's a, st a base image and then different layers. Um, in this case, we have the tropical one. Um, Seppo, it, this isn't just about wetlands, it's about wetland visitor centres and wetland education. So can you tell us a little bit about how you in, in, incorporated that in your painting? Yes, I tried to kind of uh, include uh, these uh, paths, wooden paths, which are common in, in every wetland. I think it's, they are needed. Also, also these uh, bird, bird watching in Finland, we, we say bird tower, <laughs> but uh, bird heights, uh, they are very, very handy. You can get close to birds. And uh, then these ponds with the kids and with the nets, it's always, always fun. And one, one good thing in wetland centers is that people, kids and adults, they learn that there's so much living in the little ponds also. They, after that, they can find these things also in their yard or backyard ponds, and they can kind of learn that these animals are almost everywhere, these small creatures. And, 
and also these uh, uh, mosquitoes, dragonflies, plankton, and other small creatures, they are in on layers because also these mosquitoes are almost everywhere, <laughs> and also dragonflies, but, but there are some other special animals that can be added if needed. For example, photos can be put there. Fantastic. Mm. Chris, will you click through to the next one for us? So we also have a mangrove. It's a mangrove, yes. So and we're mangrove. making it... Sorry, go ahead, Seppo. No, no. Just the mangrove, because it's uh, also connected with salty water, <laughs> I had to think, well, are there mosquitoes in the mangrove? But I thought there must be. <laughs> But, but because in salty water there's no, there are no there's no insects water in, insects living so it's, it's quite difficult to decide how to do it but yeah I remember at the, the start of this process we gave you a lot of photographs um, from welly members around the world to, just to sort of suggest the variety of habitats and activities and wetland visitor centers that are out there and then I know you did a lot of research as well to try and figure out how to put it all together. So we, we really appreciate the work you put into it. And it is this joyous image. Every time I see it, it just, it just makes me smile, um, which I think is brilliant. Um, we are probably going to print these around A1 size, but part of what we're doing today for Welly members is to find out from you how you would like us to deliver this to you. Digital versions, definitely. Like Seppo was saying, the different layers you can use in different ways as suits your needs. So maybe on an interactive blackboard or on screens. Um, and then we're looking on the material to print them. Do we print them double sided? Do we print them suitable for being outdoors or only for indoors um, or dry wipe so that you can write on them with markers and wipe it off again? If you would like a, a printed copy of this, I'm sure you would uh, contact me or Chris. Uh, let me know during this webinar or by email afterwards. You can always reach us at the email address of welly at wwt.org.uk. And this is, uh, yeah, the, the next layer, another layer um, which we spoke about. So Seppo, will you tell us a little bit about uh, the threats layer? Yes, it's, there's plenty of stuff, unfortunately, because um, there are plenty of threats in wetlands. For example, in Finland, uh, uh, wetlands were thought to be kind of badlands. They, they were the people want to dry everything up and in Finland we have really dried, for example, one third of Finnish, Finland's uh, kind of area was uh, peatland and over half of it have been drained for forestry. So in Finland we have been very good in draining <laughs> wetlands. Uh, and, but there's climate change and there's draining, pollution, irrigation, dams, development. So plenty of kind of threats and but also now now we have found that uh, wetlands are very important because they can help us to fight climate change they can help for example climate change is uh, increasing rains and so there's there's more floods and wetlands help to um, Kind of absorb mitigate, mitigate mm. floods and also when it's dry wetlands give you water so they they are kind of important and there's in britain i think you restrate a lot wetlands nowadays because you want to mitigate these uh, floods and uh, so there's also some possibilities um, and dams are also bad for wetlands because they, they um, kind of the water is not flowing normally, and and they they stop the normal. Um, there's flood and there's dry dry seasons, and uh, but you know these threats. Yeah, too well, I think. I think, and I think, yeah, everyone watching today knows them, but it's a very helpful tool for visitors to have this beautiful scene and just see how it can be, yeah, what the threats are that can affect these, the, our beautiful wetlands. And then the, there's one thing I want to kind of 
ask you and you can answer later, but uh, because there's also one layer coming, <laughs> there's arrows. There comes arrows like, uh, for example, how water is going around there. So when it's raining hard in the healthy wetland, it takes the rain and 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 then put it in the wetland and gives it little by little to the river. And also the, how the water goes around and and then about carbon, how carbon acts in a healthy wetland, it's a carbon sink. Then and then when it's the destroyed wetland, the carbon is is disappearing. It's going up. But uh, if you have some something in mind, what you need, what kind of uh, kind of activities you need to show with these arrows, uh, it helps me to kind of make this these uh, extra layers still. Fantastic. So if you can stay, stick around with us, Seppo, to the end of the session later on in this webinar and also the participants, we can have a bit of feedback, a bit of interaction and, and identify how people would like to use those, those layers and those arrows and, and help you draw them as um, appropriately as possible. Um, thank you very much, Seppo and Aoli. It, we love the artwork um, and it has been such a pleasure working with both of you. We've really, really enjoyed it. Um, so thank same, you. Same to you, same to you. It has Excellent, been wonderful, pleasure. wonderful. Um, and I hope many, many Welly member centres around the world get to show off this beautiful, beautiful piece of art. Thank you, Seppo. Thank you, Connor. Thank you.